Yeah, hello, assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Bilal, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can write a program for evaluating any given arithmetic expression using a computer register with one address instruction. So, if you see, like now, I've just like you now written down one question over here. Write a program to evaluate the given arithmetic expression using a computer register with one address instruction. So basically, like you know, this is the arithmetic expression. Yeah, I've taken it. Now I'm going to evaluate this expression using a computer register with one address instruction. So let's get started. So first of all, like you now I'm just gonna get the heading quickly of solution. Okay, now this is the given arithmetic expression. Which I've taken it so first of all I can I'm just gonna write it down over here quickly x is equal to a plus b in bracket then it multiplies with c plus d then multiply with e plus f plus g now I'm going to write a program to evaluate this arithmetic arithmetic expression using a computer register with one address instruction so that's why like you know in uh, on the top I'm just going to give the heading of one address instruction okay now you have to just like you know remember that thing yeah when you are going to write a program using a computer register with one address instruction yeah so in one address instruction yeah you have to use a cumulator register so first of all I can if I see the expression yeah first of all I like, you know I'm going to solve this bracket then this bracket and in the last I'm gonna just like you know solve that bracket so first of all like, you know, I'm just going to solve that bracket so the first variable I've got it in this bracket is a so I'm going to load firstly a variable a now I write AC basically you know what AC it is a short form of accumulator register so basically like you know this AC represents to accumulator register so now in the register here yeah, I get a I get the value of a you can say like this okay now going back to the expression so in the first packet a is going to be add with b so here i'm going to write down the operation of add and i'm going to add b so now in the ac in this register i get the answer of first of all this ac because like in this ac has got the value of variable a so that's why like you know i'm gonna write down over here ac and plus with B so now in this register yeah I get the answer of a plus B <clears throat> so now if you see in the expression I did solve the first bracket now what do I need to do I have to just like you know make the um, given register like you know make the accumulator register empty for solving the next packet so now i have to just like you know make the uh, register empty so what i will do i'm going to take one variable and in the new variable i'm going to store the value of the register so here i'm going to write down the operation of store and i take the variable t now in the variable t yeah i get the value of the register so now the register is empty because like you know the register had scored the answer of a plus b and now the answer goes to the new variable which i've taken it now the register is empty so i can solve the next bracket so again in the next practice bracket if you see the first variable in the next bracket is c so here again i'm going to load C load C then now in the register I get the value of the variable C 
now if i see in the bracket here c is going to be add with d so again i'm going to put the operation of add and adding with variable d so i write it down over here the variable d now in the register now in the register if you see first of all like now i'm going to write it down this ac why because like you know this ac has got the value of variable c so this ac is going to be add with the variable d so now this register has got the answer of c plus d so now i did solve this bracket the second bracket as well now if you see these two brackets yeah they are going to be multiply with each other so what i will do i'm going to just like you know put the operation of multiplication now here i write it down the variable t why because like you know the variable t has got the answer of the first bracket a plus b so that's why like you know here Now in the register, first of all, like you know, I've got empty. Why? Because like you know, this empty has got the answer of first bracket A plus B. So it is going to be multiplied with this AC. Why? Because like you know, this AC has got the answer of the second bracket, which is C plus D. Now in the register, in this register here. Yeah, I got the answer of these two brackets like you know when you multiply these two brackets here so the answer which comes up here it comes now in this register now if you see now I have to just like you know solve the third bracket as well so for solving the third bracket here again I need to make the register empty so what I will do again like you know I'm going to put the operation of stored and here again I just like you know, write it down t now in the variable t I get the answer of the first two brackets when I multiply so this AC now comes over here so now the answer of the AC goes in the variable t so it means now the register I've got it empty now easily I can solve the third bracket as well so what I will do in the third bracket if you see yeah, the first variable I've got it E so again I'm going to load variable which one is E so E I'm gonna load and now in the register I get the value of the variable E now if you see E is going to be add with F so I can put the operation again of add and adding with f so here i'm gonna write it on the variable of f now in the ac in the register first of all like you no know, i did write it down this ac why because like you know this ac this register has got the value of variable e so that's all like you know here first of all i'm gonna write down this ac and it's going to be add with variable f so here i wrote the sign of plus then m f now going back to the bracket so after f yeah e plus f they are going to be add with g as well so again i'm going to write down the operation of add and adding with g so i write it down over here g now in the register first of all i write this ac because like you know this ac has got the answer of f plus E variable so that's all I can here I'm going to write it down this AC is going to be add with variable G so now this register has got the answer of the whole bracket like you know E plus F plus G the answer of that bracket now I've got it in this register so now if you see yeah these two brackets yeah they are also going to be multiply with the third bracket as well and the first two bracket yeah when i did multiply so i get the answer in the variable t t and 
the last packet here I've got the answer in the register so it means like you know now I can put the operation of multiplication for multiplying these two brackets with the third bracket so now I'm going to write down the operation of multiplication mul then I take the variable I write it down over here ty because like you know this variable t has got the answer when I did multiply the first two brackets so that's all like you know I wrote it down over here t now in the register first of all I write over here this ac why because like you know this ac has got the answer of the last bracket and it's going to be multiplied with mt why the variable t because like you know this t has got the answer of the first two brackets when I did multiply to them now the whole answer like you know if you see the expression yeah so when I solve the whole expression yeah so now I get the answer in this register now if you see in the expression yeah it is x is equal to uh, this expression so that's why like you know now I have to store the answer in the variable x so here again I'm going to write down the operation of store I'm gonna just like you know going to store the answer in which variable x why because like you know, it was in the expression x is equal to so that's why like you know here I wrote it down over here x if there was going to be like you know s or f is equal to so why I would have been less just like you know written down over here uh, f or s but it was x so that's why like you know I wrote it down over here x now in the variable x I wrote it down this ac why because like you know this ac has got the answer of the whole expression so that's why like you know this ac I wrote it down over here now in the variable x I get the whole answer because like you know I did move the answer of the expression from the register to variable x so now the program if you see the program has been completed I just like you know did evaluate the given expression I wrote a program and I did use a computer register with one address instruction so I hope like you know you understood how you can just like you know, write a program for evaluating any given arithmetic expression using a computer register with one address instruction but still like if you got any questions so you can comment me and I'll try to reply you as soon as possible so inshallah like you know next time like you know I will just like you know come up with the um, new topics so until that time Allah Hafiz and take care of yourself